Thank you so much, Leader Bobby DeBose, and thank you to Senator Chevron Jones for bringing us together today. My name is Anna Eskamani. I am damn proud to serve House District 47, the state legislature, where I marched with our Black Lives Matter protesters, and I've been organizing for social justice for over a decade in this great state. I'm not going to call this House Bill 1. This is Hate Bill 1. And effectively right now, state law includes a broadly defined misdemeanors and felonies designed to criminalize and disenfranchise protesters. Peaceful protesters following the footsteps of the great Dr. King and Congressman John Lewis will be held in jail with no option for bail. Violent vigilantes are shielded from civil liability when they injure or kill a protester and defacing or injuring a Confederate memorial with $200 in damages is now a third degree felony. Hate One puts local budgets in the governor's hands, preventing municipalities from reallocating funding from law enforcement into other public safety measures, even when law enforcement supports those other public safety measures. There's a reason why folks of every ideology, constitutional scholars, state attorneys have opposed this bill, because black lives must matter, and so do our constitutional rights. This is big government overreach like no other, and it's happening while Floridians are locked out of the Capitol. Talk about irony. We can't even organize in the freaking building while our rights are being squashed. This is ultimately about our fundamental freedoms. And folks, don't let Governor DeSantis and supporters of this bill twist it. This is part of a coordinated assault on black lives and all of our fundamental rights and freedoms. There is a power grab happening this legislative session in our state capitol against our right to protest, to vote, to direct in local democracy, to organize and demand a more equitable world that does not just serve out-of-touch elites like Governor Ron DeSantis. We won't have it, we won't stop, and there will be challenges in the courts, and we will not stop marching for justice. But I will say that the lines have been drawn. And it's time for Republican colleagues to ask themselves, what side of history do you want to be on? To close, I just want to say that we, we may be tired, but we are not done. We may be tired, but we are not done. I have faith in Florida and know that the people of this state won't be duped by Ron DeSantis and the Tallahassee establishment. Whenever Republican leadership try to take away our rights, the good people across this great state will resist. We will hit the streets following Congressman John Lewis's advice to never, ever be afraid to make some noise and get in good trouble, necessary trouble. Thank you.